Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about JavaScript, and more specifically, why I think it should be your first programming language. Now which programming language you choose is ultimately going to be decided by what type of work you want to do. In this video, I am assuming you are interested in web development. And if you're interested in web development, then all these statements definitely apply. If you're interested in developing software for self-driving cars, or you want to write software that runs on microchips, JavaScript is definitely not the right option. So let's get right into it. Why do I think that JavaScript should be your first programming language? What really separates it from other programming languages? And what makes it better for beginners? So the first reason is that JavaScript is a simple language. And before I go into explaining why it's simple and what makes it simple, I want to highlight why it's important to pick a simple programming language in the beginning. So the main reason I believe it's important to pick a simple programming language when you're starting off is that it's going to get you producing and writing code faster and sooner. And the sooner you can start actually practicing to code and creating real applications or creating real programs, the sooner you're going to be on your way to getting better and improving your craft. Whereas if you take on a more complicated programming language, I can give some examples such as C++, you would have to understand how memory works. You would have to understand how as your program runs, how do you clear the memory? How do you optimize for memory? This is a lot of complexity that you're going to have to learn that if you're a web developer, you're not really even going to ever use. Another popular programming language that people start off with is Java. Java is a fantastic language, it's very popular, it's used in many different industries, but again, it has this additional layer of complexity, which is their type system, which JavaScript does not have. So you learning Java as your first programming language, it's just going to delay your progress and potentially lead to burnout, which you definitely want to avoid as a beginner. Programming fundamentals is what you really need to master in the beginning, and those things exist in pretty much every programming language. Understanding these extra features such as Java's type system or memory allocation C, it's not as transferable as the fundamentals that you learn from any programming language. So choosing a simple programming language isn't only going to provide you with almost the same, if not the same amount of value as choosing a more complicated programming language, but it's also going to keep you mentally less stressed and prevent burnout, which is going to help you progress further. And something else I'd like to mention about learning a programming language like Java or C++ or generally something that's more complex or has more features than JavaScript is that you will have an easier time learning these languages after you've mastered one language. So if you start off with JavaScript and you master JavaScript, you'll have an easier time moving on to something like Java or C++. Now let's talk about what makes JavaScript a simple programming language. What makes a programming language simple or complex usually has to do with the features that are built into it. The features are usually built into the language because that language was initially designed and developed to be used in a specific use case, and other programming languages were not able to satisfy that use case. So let's compare JavaScript to Java and C++, both very popular programming languages. Programs that are written on C or C++ are typically written to be run on some sort of hardware that has a limited amount of memory or a limited amount of power. Maybe the program in your TV is written in C++ because your TV only has so much memory when compared to something like your smartphone or your computer. As a result, you could see that this is very beneficial once the program is actually written, but this might not provide value to you. And what you get in exchange is a much more complicated programming language that you don't necessarily need to learn. We can also compare JavaScript to Java, another very popular programming language. It is used widely in banking, the financial sector, and the technology sector. Java is very popular, it's been around for a long time, a lot of really large companies use it. But again, when you're starting off and you're learning, you want to focus on the fundamentals. You don't want any additional layer of complexity. So as mentioned before, C++ has the memory allocation, which is the additional complexity. Java has something called the type system. Java is not the only programming language with a type system, but JavaScript does not have the type system. And the type system is not something you're going to learn and understand overnight. It's going to be something that is also going to take you a long time to understand for the first time. It's almost like another programming fundamental you're going to have to learn, except you don't really have to learn it if you focus on JavaScript. And JavaScript being simpler than something like C++ or Java does not by any means take away from its value or its popularity. In fact, a lot of its popularity is stemmed from the fact that you could actually write a lot of JavaScript logic with much less code than what would be required if you had to use Java or C++. What would take 10 lines of code to write in JavaScript might take 15 or 20 lines in Java and maybe 30 lines in C++. This is figuratively speaking, but you could see how development time is also valuable. Another reason I think JavaScript is a great programming language for you to learn is that JavaScript is actually very popular. If you open a job posting board, 
in your local area and you search up software developer, you're going to notice a significant amount of those jobs are actually JavaScript roles. The popularity of JavaScript doesn't end with jobs or job postings, it's also learning resources. If you have to Google some sort of JavaScript problem, you're going to have a much easier time finding an answer on Stack Overflow or somebody else that had a similar problem than if you chose something like C++. The third reason why you should learn JavaScript and why it's especially beneficial for beginners is that it's also very flexible. There are a lot of frameworks around it, there's a lot of libraries that are built for it already. So to get something out of the way, the only programming language that web browsers understand is JavaScript. There are ways to write what is called front-end logic, which is essentially logic that gets executed on your browser instead of somewhere else on a server in other languages. But how that works is in the end, you need to have some sort of software that transpiles that language into JavaScript. So if you want to become a front-end developer without missing out on something like 90% of opportunities, you really need to become good at JavaScript. JavaScript is also flexible because there's back-end frameworks for it. You can build a server with Node.js and you can build a front-end with JavaScript and now you see how you can build an entire application, server and client, with just JavaScript. Now if that's not enough, you could also use JavaScript to build mobile applications. Now here's the great part. Imagine you have three job postings. The first one requires the developer to build a front-end application. The second one requires a back-end developer to build a back-end application. And the third one requires a developer to build a mobile application. In theory, all three of these job postings could be just requiring JavaScript. Of course, job requirements don't end with just a programming language, but you could see how you can just learn JavaScript and cross that one point off in all three job applications. In conclusion, step one, before you actually learn a programming language, think about what type of work you want to do. If you're interested in web development, strongly consider JavaScript as your first programming language. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe, hit the bell, and let me know what you thought in the comments below. If there's a topic that interests you, let me know in the comments below. That'll be it for this time. Catch you next time.